Hello and welcome to Work on the Range and I'm here on the range in Finland with Yari Varsteleka, very kindly uh, hosting me here on this uh, lovely indoor range. Would yeah. you like to say where, what, it, what it is? Yeah, this is uh, Ruutisavu uh, range, one of the indoor ranges in Helsinki, very yeah. good place. Yeah, it's a really impressive setup and we've got it to ourselves and uh, we're shooting a match later this week and uh, we're going to shoot some drills basically. Yeah. And, uh, I think we just haven't really got a particular plan but uh, each of us is going to suggest things that we like to train and yeah. just go back and forth and you can uh, see how well we do and uh, place bets now as to who does, be <laughs> <laughs> who does better. So I think we're going to start off with something in my comfort zone yeah. at about 20 meters or so. Um, in the Finnish reservist competition they use the old fashioned IPSC targets um, yeah. like used in IDPA and things like that rather than the modern uh, headless politically yeah. correct coffin ones and uh, the alpha zone has been marked out and we're just going to start with a with a warm up slow at distance and then we'll we'll yeah. get closer and faster and build in some holster and reload yeah. and things like that so yeah. <laughs> let's do it Nice. I can see from here they're all in. Yeah. Nice one. <laughs> right. My turn. Now for me to embarrass myself. Yeah. <laughs> Not used to hot ranging. I'm, mm. I'm one off. Okay. Um, then let's do the. Same, but start from a holster. Mm -hmm. Oh, I need the timer. Yeah, they were about two and a two five two seven okay. and three misses. <laughs> yeah. So I'm gonna try and stick to that sort of tempo. Yeah. What was that? Two four. Two ten. Hold that right. Yeah. Two thirteen. Two thirteen. Okay. Yeah. Now the second to last one there was a, a classic example of something that goes a bit wrong at the start and then it just goes horribly wrong from there and you get a sort of sod it moment and I didn't follow through. Yeah. I was just like, it's all gone wrong but I've got the shot off and ah, <laughs> and I really shouldn't. You sh it's such an easy mistake to make and I keep making it. But that overall wasn't too... Okay, so uh, it's my call this time. So what we're going to do is advance five meters to the 15 meter line, drawing on the way, uh, arriving ready to shoot and firing two rounds.
Time? 5.27. Nice. <laughs> I, I missed my step. <laughs> it's so easy to do. I, I needed to break with the, with the wrong foot. Uh-huh. Good hits. 5.59. Mm -hmm. Nice. 5.31. I can't go faster, <laughs> <laughs> or at least the hits will, hits will. That good hit. Let's see. Let's take some Charlies there. Four twenty-six. Oh, I shaved a whole second off. Yeah, but there's. Uh, there's Definitely bad hits. So that was, and I think that one from the last set. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and uh, we used the reduced A, so these ones could have been, or they are an A, so, but. Uh, we aim for the center. <laughs> 424. Mm. You're considerably faster than I. <laughs> and I wasn't actually quite ready to shoot when I got there either. <laughs> <laughs> okay, stand by. Three forty-eight. Took Charlie's to do it. <laughs> Let's try and get alphas. Yeah. Ready? There's a miss there. Yeah. It, it often happens to me that the third time I run a drill, I screw it up. Yeah. Because I try and push it. I either, I either do my best the first or the second run. Yeah. But on that last one, the second shot, I saw the dot go off. I think my first run were those two Charlies and shooting mine ash being a whole second faster is probably worth it on a on something short like that but yeah not my best shooting but nice and fast <laughs> so your call yeah uh let's go the the uh strong hand and another strong hand mm -hmm. like with without uh, time pressure just the the accuracy from uh, 15 15 meter line.
That was really good. It's an under-practiced skill. Uh, yeah. I like to do it. it you get kind of a zen-like feeling, and of course it's uh, pretty frustrating every now and then. Okay. But One off and the rest in. Yeah. Okay, now for me to embarrass myself after that excellent performance. Well, that's a good blooper. <laughs> Stay. <laughs> and then my bullseye shooting comes to the front. The dot doesn't tell you any lies. You, it's, I found it's been great learning to shoot with a, with a dot because with, with, with normal iron sights, you've got angular error and parallel error. But on the dot, you've only got angular error and you see it because the dot moves massively in the window and certainly weak hand, it was dancing a little. Let's go see how bad that was. Actually, only one out. That went better than I thought. <laughs> okay, now we're going to do um, advancing from 15 to 10, shooting on the move, five, five rounds. Okay. Uh, yeah, and with the timer, yeah. By 14, but uh, yeah, that sucked. <laughs> it's shooting on the move is hard. Yeah. Yeah, 725, but uh, yeah. One out, two out, three, four, five, six, seven, so not great, but like, at least there were some Charlies. <laughs> Time? 404. They were mostly Charlies. I was feeling... Feeling my trigger control and seeing the dot go low. With, with, a, with a Glock trigger it's easy to lose shots low. Yeah. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have a mulligan there. <laughs> what happened? I didn't find the dot. It was like I came up and had yeah. no dot. I'm sorry. Sorry, guys. I'm taking a mulligan on that one. Okay. Stand by. That's better. Actually, not too bad overall. Those are the low ones I saw go and then a couple either side there, but it's, 
that's actually a bit of a longer range than you'd usually use to shoot on the move, but it focuses the mind. Um, and often I, I find it's trying to find the limits of where to use different techniques or not. And I think that's probably the furthest distance I've ever shot on the move. And I'm actually fairly happy with, with how that went. Yeah, nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so let's do the side movement next. Uh, like starting on front of one target, uh, start from a holster, two shots, few fast steps uh, towards uh, on front of the next target and two shots and then repeat it to the uh, another way around so like simulating that if you need to change the position like uh, go over the barricade or something Slippery. <laughs> it is a slippery floor. Yeah, yeah it's a slippery floor. Do <laughs> <laughs> uh, go to the well, Those two Charlies. There's the one. Not bad, not great. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I think the the ability to take a few fast steps and more or less uh, maintain your ability to shoot fast is uh, pretty good for many of the situations. I, I really suck with that. Like, I just keep thinking that did I hit or something and I should be able to call my hits faster and just move on. Mm -hmm. <laughs> five five three. <laughs> Four eighty eight. That that extra shot there was because I saw one go. Ah. <laughs> so made so made up for it. Yeah. Uh, this is this this is hard and we're doing this at like twice the range that my club would do a drill like this at. Okay. Like we were at 10 meters and my club would be doing it in like five or seven perhaps. Yeah. Four fifty one. Yeah. Two off here and I called one, it went, I could see it, as I, as I squeezed the trigger, the dot, the dot went, pink, <laughs> over his shoulder. And then over here, two off again. I'm actually happy with that. Yeah. And one thing I was trying to work through in my head, because it's a mistake I made before, was not crossing my legs. Because it's very easy to trip yourself up, and falling with a loaded gun is not fun. So, Mozambique at 10 meters. Easy there. Two to the body, one to the head. Nice. Three seconds. Two eighty six. 
I kind of missed the dot on that. It's very easy to miss the dot. I mean, the dot's great, but it's harder to pick up than iron sights are sometimes if you don't get it right. Yeah. Okay. There was two. There's one. Oh. No, sorry. That was. But it was still an A zone. We used the reduced yeah. A zone. That would, that one was like uh, kind of a, when when the dot was coming up from a recoil. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> I I was uh, too hasty. Like <laughs> it's so easy to do, and the cadence with it because yeah. you've got the big long A zone for the first two shots, and then you've got this much smaller square, and it really focuses the mind and yeah. the really. Like the 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 machine the machine that works with Giga, <laughs> he just goes da 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 because he's yeah. just awesome. Yeah, I my finger doesn't move that fast. <laughs> Two ninety four. That was fast. That was quicker than I thought it was. Yeah, because that that draw felt glacial. It, it felt really slow, but actually that, that was all right. Mm. Second shot on the body was low, was a Charlie, but that dot came up and then, the, and then I'd settled and the last, the last shot was zen, <laughs> I saw it. Yeah, it was fast, two, six, one. What was it? Two six one. Two fifty two. Nice. My left hand grip wasn't right, but it's still the right hand grip was bang on. Let's go. Let's go have a look. Oh my. Three head box ones there. One, two. Three. Oh, it wasn't low. All right, it, it pulled it in a different direction to what I thought, but I'm quite happy with that. And that's a that's 10 meters. That's much longer than people typically do this drill at. And the super fast ones that Paul and I have been doing, they've been very very close. But I can't pull my pull the trigger that fast either. Um, that guy's that guy's good. Some say no. <laughs> so thanks for that. That was. Great fun. Yeah. Um, I don't normally get an opportunity to, to train like this. I'm either on my own on a static range or in a, in a group situation and someone else doing the drills. But uh, that, was, that was great. And doing those drills at longer ranges than a lot of people do, do really add something. Yeah. I, I usually uh, shoot quite much from uh, 25 meters without time limit and uh, then uh, Trying to do the the faster drills, like uh, somewhere between ten to five meters, and usually I I stick to the ten meters mm -hmm. because there's a uh, quite much challenge from that distance mm -hmm. if you at at the speed. Mm -hmm. And we often find at club level that the intermediate distances, sort of fifteen meters ish, people underestimate it, and that's where you start to miss. But if you're doing most of your training at that distance or further. You're used to it and know how yeah. know how to react to it. You don't think it's close enough that I can be sloppy. Yeah. And I mean, particularly with Glocks, trigger controllers, everything. Yeah, that's actually challenging for me in some of the matches where you have the the targets really close, and it's hard for me to let it go. Kind of that I I still kind of over perfected that I get the proper side picture and everything and usually I lose a lot of time in a close-up target so maybe I should go closer and try to get that tempo up but uh, I, I'm i not that good a marksman so that's why I put the more more emphasis on, on the accuracy. So your, your precision shooting, you were out shooting me which was um, which was impressive. You were nailing the, the reduced A zone 
far better than I was at, uh, at 20 meters. So, uh, it's, it's, clearly, it's clearly working. And what I find my problem is that when I, when I try and speed up, it tends to go horrible. And I, I try and push it. Um, and then I think, okay, we'll, we'll tolerate some Charlies. And then they, they end up with Deltas and, and Misses. And what I, I really need, to, I need to get out to Calvin. Uh, Cal, <laughs> Calvin uh, train me because he's really good. Yeah. And uh, try and build some speed without being crap, basically. Yeah. So thanks so much for that. Thanks all for watching, and uh, thanks to patrons for being able to fund me coming out here. Thanks to Sarah and Yari and Varsuleka for hosting me, and uh, yeah, loads more content on this coming up. So see you again. Bye.